Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's episode, we're going to hopefully have this engine mocked up and hopefully mounted into that chassis today. So that's what we're focusing on today. I know I've been teasing you guys um, in the last video and I told you I wasn't going to tell you what this engine was. So I want you to take a guess right now down in the comment section. And in the next video, we'll tell you exactly what it is. I've had a lot of you guys guess that it's a 125 cc. I've had some private messages and I think there's one or two comments say that it's a 125. Well, no, it's bigger than that. I'll give you a hint. It's bigger than that. It's electric start, single cylinder, of course. So guys, I've been telling you in all the previous videos how you can help out the channel you can do that by checking out our links down below whether it's our amazon store our merch pick up some of our merch some of our stickers um you can donate to paypal however you want to do it i get a lot of messages a lot of messages so i've been starting to put it in the videos that way you guys know and i'll also leave a pinned comment down below with all this information and guys, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and share this video with your family and friends. If you think that they might like this little buggy build, I think it's turning out sweet so far. So I'd like to ask you to share this video with them. Ask them to come over and like, share, and subscribe. Ask them to leave a comment down below of what they think. Do they think there's something I should change on here? Do you think there's something I should change? What do you guys think about this build? So without further ado, let's get into it. We got, I started on a few, but I left some for you guys we're making motor mounts today i got some for down here and we're going to get them all tied in front and rear and then what we have to do is get it positioned in the buggy i already bought the chain today and i already bought the sprockets that we're going to need hopefully they're the right sprockets um i know they're right for the motor and the chain but i don't know about gear ratio we're probably gonna have to just play with that once we get it going and make minor adjustments so the way that i'm doing it well we'll get into that when we get into it i don't think we're going to get into it in today's video but nonetheless we're going to get this set in there and figure out how we can um, get it welded in and bolted up. So without further ado, guys, let's let's get into that. All right, guys. So I already did a little bit of pre-drilling to put these brackets on. I got to find bolts. We're going to put those in there, bolt them tight. And then what we're going to do is put these two brackets down here. I already got these made up. We're going to do the front ones. But what we're going to do after we get the front ones done is we're going to brace these all together. That way when we mount it in the chassis, we can just uh, weld these, you know, with the engine in there, tack weld it, pull it out and do that. So without further ado, let's, let's get onto that. Well guys, I had to go to Ace Hardware Store, but it took me a while because I haven't drove my truck in a couple weeks and it appears someone broken into it. They left the door a little bit open, just enough to run the lights and it ran the battery dead. So I had to deal with that and I get it jump started. I drive it to the hardware store. Good thing I took my jumper pack with me because it didn't charge enough uh, and it died on me while I was in the store. So. Yeah, that's the things 
that I have to deal with around here it is what it is, I guess. Not a big deal. We won't cry about it or anything. So I had to go get me some new bolts and nuts and all that happy jazz so I could uh, get these mounts on here that we got made up. Cool. We just want to snug that up enough to keep it in position where we want it. Okay, so we're going to level these out. All right, we got those on. We're gonna to move to the front and put the front ones on and then we can get the weld and those all in place together. We're gonna tack weld them anyway. So yeah, I'm running just a little bit behind on <laughs> in this video. Oh uh, well, at least I'll still be able to get one out to you guys. That's good nonetheless. So this one goes like that. Yeah. Oh, those are perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. heavy Whew. looks like we're gonna have to cut out some stuff guess we should probably do that real quick huh all right guys so I forgot um we have to cut out some stuff I thought this was bolted in but it's actually welded in I really have no idea what it was for I know that and that is part of a motor mount but we may try to utilize those somehow but they are kind of trash so never mind we'll probably cut them out too We may leave that there because I feel like we might need it for the shifter. The only thing is their seating position is going to be up here. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. We're going to have to think on this one, guys. It looks like the motor mounts are pretty much on point where they need to be. At the same time, they look like they may be a bit of a hindrance to unbolt that motor and get it out. So let's jack this up. All right, well that flooring, that sheet is up now. But this is about where it's gonna have to go because of the sprocket. All right guys, so we got it sitting down in there in a roundabout way where we want it, but we're gonna have to get our sprocket on here. That way we can make sure our chain's gonna be lined up. Not sure I like, I mean, it's not like it's a huge motor or anything like that. It's just, I didn't want them to have to sit 
up high, but then again, at the same time, they're gonna be wider. They're already wider in the front, but they're gonna be wider in the rear, so they shouldn't be too top heavy, and there should be enough room between their seats, and it should have enough airflow. It's gonna be right there by them, so um, I'm gonna try and put some steel down there, but up here is where the original golf cart's seat sat which would be fine it'll do it won't be too bad i don't think we'll we'll figure it out i think it's gonna work my only thing is well that's not gonna move a whole lot and if it does that shouldn't move up into the seats or anything it should be fine and then we're gonna wrap around the exhaust i'm gonna get me a header and make a header and kind of wrap around and come back out through here that way it comes straight out and we'll build brackets where we can bolt the exhaust to my only other thing is i'm gonna have to make it so these mounts bolt in and it won't be hard to do because i have these existing motor mounts that i can pull out they're bolted in actually or i could chisel the rubber out of them and use those to weld on to this mount here that way we can unbolt those and bring the whole motor out. And I can do the same for up here because I have a hole here and I have this bracket here, but that bracket, uh, that motor mount is actually welded to the frame. Imagine that. Oh no, it's got a through bolt. Okay, so that's what we'll do is we'll get some steel and we'll weld it on. That way we can have them four bolts or six bolts. I have to work on this rear end and I have to shave this down. I'll show you what we got. So we got this sprocket here. It actually goes up over here, but it doesn't go up over here. And I just have to shave this a little bit. And then we have a cotter key that we bought. We bought cotter keys so I could slice um, key, cotter key holes. And that's where it's gonna go. But I think the sprocket's gonna end up on there something like that, probably. So I guess I gotta figure out how I'm gonna shave this down. That's next on the list. So we can get that chain on there and get this motor into place. And then we can weld in our, our new mounts that we can unbolt. All right, guys, we have to machine this shaft down to fit this collar. It don't have to go very much, but here's the plan. We're gonna roll this and run the grinder. Let's see how well it does or doesn't do. I've done something similar to a crankshaft before on a go-kart and it worked great. Right, guys so what we did was we ended up grinding that down just like you've seen and we got it to fit we had to grind a cotter key hole or slot whatever you want to call it so we got a cotter key in there the only thing we got to do is tighten up our allens we're waiting on that to cool i didn't fully weld that but i put three good welds on it in the next video what we're going to do is get that engine centered over and in a line with that their sprocket for all i know that sprocket needs to be bigger we don't know we don't really care at this point in time because all we want to do is get our chain in line not to mention if it ends up almost being right, we could take that 15 tooth off the engine and get like a 12 tooth or something like that. Maybe 13 tooth and kind of adjust it that way. So in next video, what we're going to do is get these motor mounts tied in. I'm going to get rid of that rubber right there. And that'll give us another mount just like that because this is bolted down there. And then down here, we can unbolt this and we have that mount. So what we're going to do is tie in this front mount to there and to there so we can unbolt it. And we'll tie in this back mount here, here, and here so we can unbolt it. So probably what we'll end up doing is just uh, cutting these tabs off and then running a nice piece of uh, steel across there, maybe some tubing, and then welding this to the tubing. I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Okay guys, that concludes today's video. I wanna thank you for tuning in and watching. I'd love to make uh, quite a bit longer videos, but it just seems like every time I try to, something comes up. So 
We've been out here for about six hours doing all this and maybe got 20 minutes worth of video. Maybe we'll see. So next, next video, hopefully it'll be a little bit longer because, um, we have to get that mocked up. And then once we do that, I actually have a surprise coming for the front end. We are going to get rid of those hubs. And I ordered some ATV hubs off of Amazon with some disc brake rotors the whole enchilada the whole kit um came with everything but the brake calipers for 76 dollars for two left and right and it's supposed to be a four by 110 bolt pattern so it should um work with those tires and look look at how soft that suspension is up there that's gonna be nice i i actually feel like probably gonna have to stiffen it a little bit now but hey um so yeah here coming up in a few videos after we get this engine mocked up, we're going to be able to um, start working on that front end again because I wanted to have disc brake. That was one of the things that I wanted to do, and that's going to allow us to be able to do that. So pretty easy, easier than what it would be there. And those uh, uh, spindles need rebuilt, so we'll, we'll figure it out from, from there. But I got, all right, guys, I want to thank you for watching, stopping in, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below what you think. And don't forget, tell me what engine you think that is. 400cc, 500cc, 200cc. Tell me what you think it is. And uh, we'll talk about it once it's running. So it's going to be a while. I don't want to spoil it.